All right, not a problem. It's uh, it's all sealed up now. I think it's ready to send back to you. Just do a quick on-air check. I'll do it receiving through the GE. Testing one two, testing one two. We're in AM. Go to lower sideband. Testing one two, testing one two, testing one two, one two one two. Upper sideband. Testing one two, testing one two one two. Okay. To, to scan, you press it in. And it will scan. It's not a fantastic uh, device. It doesn't stop on all strong signals, but it will at least allow you to scan the band. All these switches work. Remember, they didn't work when they came here. Uh, to dim, you pull it out and you dim the meter. So to start the scan, to stop it, oh a bit of Philippines. Indonesia, get our frequency, so just going back over the, the uh, this is uh, 27 megs, 355, so that's uh, channel 35, and if we go to channel 1, there's channel 1, 26, 965, which is correct, which is channel 1 Australian. All right, uh, I did a bit of deoxid on this and lubrication, also trimmed up the plastics. It was a bit damaged inside. As you know, we did this. I've done a RX alignment, the best that this radio can the, will do. The power out is around about 16 watts PEP. Um, to get any more, we'd have to change the finals to 1969s and a different driver. Uh, but that's the best that we can manage at this point. Uh, this radio fought me right through to the end. And uh, blue... Uh, a 2.2 UF tantalum which is well known in C117 I think it is uh, anyway uh, that's your radio and really all you have to do is enjoy it but it's just uh, turn it on if you want to scan it's 1-2 and it's scanning you can either Turn it to, to stop it. You press it in once to start. Press it twice. Press it once, it stops. There you scan levels. So it's on L14 at the moment. Um, the best results. Uh, between L L13 and L17. And I had it on 14 before.
And there we go. That's the installation of the CB40, the restoration of this Ferris uh, full cap change alignment, replace microphone plug, uh, installed the CB40, uh, repaired the plastics, uh, gave it a detail, uh, deoxed all of the um, potentiometers, fixed the switches. Um, uh, the other thing too is for some reason the factory installed the power plug upside down so I've supplied a new power lead brand new power lead with a new plug for the back just use that that lead all right I will send you the video and uh, you can um, enjoy the radio when you get it thank you very much uh, remember comment like and subscribe I would appreciate it cheers Hello YouTube. Alright, so this is the 858 Ferris SSB5000. I just wanted to show you the the connections. Now uh, for the CB40. That Alright, so first of all this is the 5KC, 10KC um, pin. And we isolated that by cutting that through here. And then we have um, P9, which normally was joined with these two well these two were joined together um, we did a horse I did a horseshoe cut up and across and then soldered the black wire the other one that we that I cut was on the violet line and I separated that from the main um, the main track here then the, the wiring is as per it is here from P0 to P9. So it's brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, grey, white, black. Um, when, once this was complete, I then repositioned the ceramic back onto the, um, the earth there. Now the scan control goes to the positive side of the meter here there is two earths in the CB40 and I'm using this comp this uh, ground rail here and I've brought them in from underneath of the board so that's the location of the CB40 now when we turn it when I turn it on it has a blue light which shows that it's operational and it fits quite neatly in where the uh, channel selector used to be as you can see now I haven't removed any of the rib the I didn't remove the ribbon holder did nothing there and um, tidied up all the loom with cable ties and it's a very neat job in my point of view I've just got to reconnect the speaker and the job will be done okay speakers back in And we're ready to put the covers back on. 